there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to Gary Grizzly's War in the East. Um, so, uh, I'm kind of not too happy about my movements over here. I kind of do regret it somewhat. I feel like I should have used these panzers to uh, punch away these infantry divisions and buys a little bit more room. Uh, now, we may still be able to do that. We do have the Totenkopf um, SS Motorized Division. And we do also have the uh, NKVD Border Regiment. Which I should be able to easily swat away. Uh, so let's see. We'll use the first Panzer Division over here. Yep, they are out. That gives a little bit more control over here. Makes it a little bit easier for us to breathe. Okay, see, now we can even move around further to the south here. That's a major thing. Okay. Uh, Totenkopf. Good, they retreat. Okay. So see, we've bought ourselves a lot of movement here. Now what I will do here is... I could move here, potentially. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into the uh, different brigades. Though I will have to move here. Uh, let's see. Okay, now I'm going to break it up into the brigades. Okay. So first, over here. And then... <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is I'm trying to buy myself some uh, breathing room. And... Hmm. Actually, do I want to do that? I think I'm fine with this. I'll leave the third here and I'll move the second up to here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's good. So now all we need to do then is to take our railroad over there and we'll isolate this gulf from for reinforcement. Uh, they no longer have access to this railroad, or that one, or that one. So, already more isolated, which is good news. I'm going to move these over here to Talonin. Um, it is a security division, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up. We'll send a brigade over here. Okay. Right, so we have some security forces over here. We'll have to use our own security forces to break them down. That'll be easily done. Uh, we still have some movements here, but I'm going to keep them as they are. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to have them assigned to the nearest command, which is this core over here. Uh, this is going to be something of an issue, but they should be fine with just a few uh, security forces. It's only like one more division anyway. So Talonin is now garrisoned, which is good news. We do have another security force over here. Um, I will have to break that up and have some forces sent over to Piskov. And... Right. Yeah, we'll have to have some security uh, forces in the rear, just in case. Okay. Plenty to do. Plenty to do. So we've opened this up a little bit more. That's good news. And now let's take a look at reinforcement. So we can expect some SS cavalry. Uh, Finnish troops. Okay. Air units. Right, a lot of withdrawals. Let's see. So the Finnish border, we'll have to do some movement fairly soon. But I think what we're going to do here is just sort the north out first and then we'll do that. <coughs> okay. Um, how are we looking in terms of fuel? 52%, that's not good enough. Okay, let's start to the top. Okay. So we're going to use this force over here. In fact, we'll use this one here. Attack that airborne brigade. Force them to retreat. Uh, we'll break this force up. Two brigades will head here. Well, mm, yeah, two brigades. Hmm, no, actually, that wouldn't be a wise idea. Right. I do have this division over here, actually. So I could use that to fill the line. Um, who do you belong to? Elcor. Okay, we do have another group over here of SS. Yeah, that's decent enough, then. 
Okay, so our main breakthrough is going to come in this area over here. Now we do have the Panzer here, uh, but this is the easiest to break through. And then we're going to try and uh, push on towards Piskov. Uh, though if we can try to surround these forces here, we will try to do that. These Panzers will be mostly uh, assigned to that task, in all honesty. Yeah, we need to uh, try to come around like this and uh, surround these forces by Smolensk. If we can uh, trap these Smolensk defenders in a pocket, that will be awesome. Okay, so let's go with our breakthrough. So we're going to need these guys close to the front line. The headquarters will be needed close by to offer their supports. Okay, so equipped here with the gun battalion. How it's a, how it's a light flak. Uh, some pioneers in construction, right? The pioneers are fantastic. That's good. Uh, going to need them. Okay, so we're going to start with you. Uh, what are we facing over here? Fortified region and a rifle division. Uh, not the greatest thing to be facing across the river. So this is the point we break through. Here, 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 here. Yeah, just this flank in general. This is the only place I would offer any resistance over here. Uh, so let's just draw that just so everybody can see what I am talking about. Right, so, points of weakness. Here. And then as far as we can tell down here. There we go. These are the points of weakness. Now the points of strength are here, definitely here, and then obviously we do not know about these areas, but the rest of the line over here. So our main thrust is going to come through here, and through here. That's how we're going to work it. Okay. Right. You're not attacking across the river, so we'll use you. Uh, let's see. Start here. Your headquarters needs to be closer to help in the attack. Okay, retreated. Right, they held. That's not good. Okay. Held again. Right. Hmm. They are dug in quite nicely over here then. Where is the morale here? Morale 75, okay. That's not good. I was hoping to be able to break through here. I could probably do it. Um. I don't want to throw too many resources into something that's not going to work. So what we'll do then is we'll use uh, these two divisions here. Now you can't attack over here. Yes, yeah, so you can't attack. Hmm. Okay. Only pioneers. Right, go for full attack. There we go, that's what I need. Okay. Hmm. This is enough for me. Okay, now they have a greater defensive position. Uh, so we're going to avoid it entirely. Right, move on through. Yep, force them back further. Now we'll move over here. Okay, they held. Right, you're part of this command over here, okay. It's a little bit awkward in positioning. So you'd have free. You'd have free as well. Okay. Um, I kind of wish I'd uh, taken a look at which headquarters you were under, uh, but this is no problem. I can I can make do with this quite easily. Okay. 
See, now we've opened up a nice gap over here. Uh, what we might be able to pull off here is actually something a little bit smaller than uh, Serrano Smolensk, but um, equally as damaging towards the Russians. Uh, we could try and form a movement over here, trap these few divisions here. That would be a nice move. That would open up the center and open up uh, Veloki, Veliki Luki. Velki, Velaki and Luki to our forces, the Wehrmacht. So let's take a look at uh, the area here. Can we get some reconnaissance going? <clears throat> let's just do some general reconnaissance uh, in general. Well, yeah, I kind of don't need to see general twice though. Oh well. Right, uh, points of weakness over here. Uh, these forces are thankfully fresh, that's good news. Okay, so this is a major river, somewhat difficult to move across. Um, hmm. This is awful terrain, but we're going to have to punch through over here. If I could try and take uh, Vitebesk and secure that hard point, that would be great for us. Uh, though our forces over here, the forces of the Ninth Army, are going to be smashing into this line here. So it's going to be a general movement across the line and across the front. Okay. But let's focus on the north over here first. Okay. So we'll use you to... Uh, hmm. In fact, no, I'm going to ignore that. Right. You're part of this. You need to be over here, then. Okay. Uh, 21, is that enough for a full planned attack? No. Okay. Right, so we're going to mass... Uh, forces over here. Um, hmm. 15,976, uh, You have taken some damage over here. We'll spread out the wounds. I'd rather not have, like, a... Um, okay. Now that's irritating as they moved into a uh, more defensible location. Right. That makes things a little bit more interesting. Move up our support over here. Um, yeah, we have Howitzer Battalions. Yeah, this is a hell of a lot better. Stokes as well. Awesome. Okay, so let's move up a bit closer. Okay. Hmm. Right. See, this is a very difficult point to attack. Right, that's a lot better. Especially as of level 2 fortifications here. Right. Hmm. See, they're in a good position. You're under this command. Right, pull that division back. Right, the SS should make this possible. Uh, what do we have here? Hmm. I noticed that we have some armoured cars over here. 
light armored car. Interesting. Much higher morale value on the SS. Rise go for a full coordinated attack. Bloody hell. Right, that is a stubborn position. This isn't going as I was hoping it would. Uh, but so is war. Okay. I'm not happy about the losses here. Yeah, 2,077 men. 1,561 being killed there. Uh, though our losses are fairly low. I mean, these are like losses comparative to like, the Polish campaign at the moment. And you can see we've advanced quite far into the Soviet Union. And the losses for the Soviets are mounting. Okay. Hmm, I should have attacked there, really. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh well. We'll be able to break through in time. Uh, but the good news is it should force the Soviets to uh, shift their lines. And then we can make our way through. Right. Uh, what we'll do here then is we're going to make this force up. Actually no, we're going to keep it solid. Uh, let's move up a division here. Right, there we go. So we've isolated a uh, tank division over here. That's already a big thing. That's a full Soviet tank division. They don't... Well, they do have a lot of tank divisions, but they don't have an infinite number. So breaking one off over here is going to be a good thing. Hmm. I'd like to try and break the rails over here. But I doubt they're going to be sending reinforcements. Okay. Could still pull off a encirclement over here fairly, fairly easily. Roy. They do have some good defensive positions. Hmm. I would be a hell of a lot better attacking from this position, especially against an entrenched position like this. Uh, though they only have uh, one. Defensive combat value. I just don't really want to put the V. I don't want to put our forces to the test. I'd rather take the easier route, uh, the one that leads to an easier victory rather than uh, losing unnecessary men. Well, losing unnecessary amounts of men. Right, let's make this work. Please. Okay, the population is evacuating. They're gonna hold. Oh no, they surrendered. Awesome. Uh, that's pretty good then. Right, fantastic. Uh, this opens this up a little bit further here, uh, so we just need to get these out of the way. Um, I could try to push across here. Keyword being try. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I can see the def uh, differences in the defensive positions and also seems to be the quality of the divisions. Possibly morale or something of that nature. Okay. Uh, this is the weakest point of the line. We'll use our panzers. Good. Right. <clears throat> Airborne, NKVD, Rifle. I was hoping they would shatter. I bet it didn't use very much in the way of combat value though, so that's okay. Right. You can see how... How much better the 7th Panzer Division is than the 20th Panzer Division. Uh, what are we lacking here? Is it in terms of morale? 75 out of 85. Um, the 20th, let's see. Uh, sorry, the 7th. 
Seven has 90 morale, so very high morale. Uh, so what we need then is the uh, 20 of 2 winsome battles. Uh, so we'll move them over here. Okay, we have a better combat appraisal here. Uh, we'll go for a proper attack here. Easy victory. That has increased their morale a little bit. That's awesome. Right, we'll go with a full attack over here. Right, ooh. I did lower it. Hmm. Not good. Not very good. Um. Hmm. I mean, it is swamp in all fairness. It's it's not exactly good to be in. Right, we're almost there. Just need to open this up a little bit further. Uh, what I could potentially do is move up here, but I would not have enough uh, movement points for combat. We still have the 19th and the 12th Panzer Divisions, uh, and the accompanying motorized divisions attached to this um, armored group. I could try to move some infantry up this way. Okay, two divisions here. Let's go, let's go. Good, they retreated. That's our way in across the Divina. Unable to cross at present. Yeah, that use a lot. Okay, we have three rival divisions over here. In a decently... Uh... Hmm. Can't move across yet. I need to dislodge this. Right. Uh, you'd not have enough. Uh, we'd have to move all the forces over here. Uh, so, what's emerging here is differential uh, measures of resistance. That's what's interesting. That's what I love about the infantry combat. Is uh, nothing ever really goes as you quite expect it to. And that's what makes war fun. Well, I say that. Uh, that's what makes Gunner Grisby's War of the East fun. Um, I do feel confident that we can do this, I just don't want to lose armoured fighting vehicles because we ultimately don't have that many, and every single armoured fighting vehicle does bloody well count. Okay, the Soviets still have a large amount of um, armoured fighting vehicles. Planes are dropping, but hey, no need to be resting on our laurels until we win the war yet. And that is yet to be decided. Okay. Ah, so you could make that right now. Hmm. We'll use you over here. The reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to make sure I have enough fuel. Uh, so we're going to go over here. Push these forces away. Oh, well, this is interesting. That's interesting. Right... Let's move forward one. Hmm. Ah, uh, now see there is a security force over here, otherwise I would have been uh, quite confident in making that and we would have been able to encircle these forces here. Uh, the issue is we just don't have anything to move up into that area to push that security back. That's uh, so just not a good idea. Right. So we'll stick to the plan. I'd love to disrupt all these airfields, so what we'll see is if we can pull this off. Right. Uh, we're going to use these forces in conjunction here. I need them out of this position, so we're going to go on a full plant attack. Right, good, they retreated. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do then is we need to focus on these Panzer Divisions that are lacking round. 
Uh, we also do need to use the forces that we um, have, such as the infantry divisions that are lacking in morale. If we can bring that morale up, that's going to be something that's going to serve us throughout the entirety of the war in the east. And we are bloody well going to need it. Okay, so we can use this um, motorized over here to uh, finish this. Okay, so these guys are now effectively cut off. Uh, so not quite the encirclement I was hoping for. It could have been there if that security division had not been present. Uh, actually, I could have still been able to pull it off if I was able to get here and here, but that's not going to happen. And there's no point in making it, um, well, forcing it, because it's just not going to happen. Okay, uh, so what we can try to do here is we can push these forces out. And capture some precious, precious fuel. The good news is this should all be going back to the core level headquarters, which is good, so that means it's in the actual Panzer core. Uh, what I should do is actually see how much fuel they have before and after. That would be great. Okay, so I'm going to move you up over here. Um, maybe not the best move. Maybe not the best move. Let's see. We have 91 fuel over here. Ah, oh DL, you're so far away. Uh, 30, sorry, only 11 fuel here. Very, very, very low. Hmm. So we'll have you take care of the motorized forces. Okay. And then the armored forces can be assigned to this uh, core over here. And then at least the motorized, which aren't going to be moving too far at the moment, uh, can be used. Um, so I'm going to have you switch um, headquarters to the LVII core. Have them do that, but at least can try and get some extra fuel in. Uh, so we have, what, 10 fuel? Let's see if we can capture a little bit more. See if that is an actual viable option for us right now. Two tons. Two. Three. Two. Two. Not much fuel this time round. Not much at all. Okay. Right, so we're going to break this force up. They don't have that much defensive value, so I'm going to keep them somewhat tight. I can capture a little bit more fuel over here, though. There we go, a little bit more. Hmm. Right, move this way. There we go, even more fuel there. There we go. Right here. Hmm. I'll move the armor around here as well. Possibly just to here. We'll see. Ultimately depends on how difficult it is going to be to hold this. I'll move them there. And that makes it a little bit tougher on the Soviets. Okay. I'll move this force in here. Hmm. I uh, see, ultimately, this move is going to open up this uh, center line here. Well, not really the center line. Well, I suppose it is the... Uh, North it is the center line. Yes, it is the center to the north. Well, center north It's just about midway, midway between both of them. Uh, but it's going to open it up there, so that's going to allow us across the major river here at uh, the Divina. Uh, we can go for Vitebsk and then ultimately make our move to Smolensk. Uh, from Smolensk, and then we can start moving to north uh, to Veliki, Luki, or Veliki, Luki, Apiskov, and then ultimately onto Leningrad and uh, Moscow itself. Lots of things here, lots of potential, a lot of things that can go right, a lot of things that can go wrong. Let's just see which one we uh, achieve then, shall we? Uh, we do need to yet move the Finnish forces that will be done in time. I'm going to try and take my time a little bit more now with these uh, turns, just so I make the best moves rather than hasty moves and, uh, well, moves made quickly are often uh, regretted in the long term. So at the moment, losses are amounted to about 61,000. Uh, not too bad. We do have plenty of Soviets yet to uh, snare. Actually, I say that we don't have that many. But 
we can catch up more. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching, and goodbye for now. See you soon. Do remember to subscribe for more.